Hello, this is Cass Baloo, and welcome to more Let's Play Golden Sun! I almost said Final Fantasy. So, but I didn't. Yay, I guess? Um, we are right where we left off, and we're gonna head straight over to that mountain, I think. Uh, probably? Probably, yeah, we are. I think there's still stuff we can get in the village square, but we can do that later. So I'm gonna do it later, cause it's not like it's gonna- it'll still be there when we come back, probably. Um, probably, probably. In we go! Oh wait. Oh wait. No, this is like- the best analog would be like the temple in Fall of Fantasy 1. You know, the- Thing I never used. Maybe not the best analog. No, the best analog for this is the chapel in Dragon Quest. We can come here to cure status effects and revive people who have died. Hopefully no one is gonna die because it's expensive. And poison is not really a concern either because... Well, we will have... Let, let's see. I don't remember for this one. Uh, this, we will have a synergy to cure poison before it be- probably before we get poisoned. Uh, this, we just want to sort of hope we don't need to worry about, we don't need to use, but we will probably have someone die at some point, and then we'll need to come here and revive them. Because you do eventually get synergy to revive people, but it's not until quite late in the game. Um, and this is... well, I'll talk about that when it comes up. The curse ha is its own, like, special mechanic. Ah, uh, oh. You're not planning on staying up to Mount Elf, are you? Um, yes. Mount Elf. Elf. Whatever. I'm probably mispronouncing this actually, but I don't I didn't let it stop me before, and I'm not gonna let it stop me now. Mount Alf is a sacred peak. No one can climb it without permission. No. Well, I'll overlook it this time. But I've got my eye on you, Isaac. Huh. Haha! -ha! We just need to wait for him to go around the corner. <laughs> yeah, that's actually pretty smart. Okay then. Soul entrance. And in we go. And sorry, I want to say this now, sorry, but I totally couldn't think of a good voice for Kratos. Um, yeah, pretty much. It would be really nice if I did have one, but basically all I have is Galus voice, and I'm not using Galus voice because Galus voice is a really hard on my throat. I guess I could just do like a more grainy thing, but I, eh. well, let, let, you know, let's try it. Him. This is the entrance to Soul. That's grainy. Whatever, it works. To Soul Sanctum. This is your first time here, right? Basically, super old man. No. I doubt that. Few ever get the chance to see this sanctum firsthand. Uh, that might be- that might stir my voice as well, but you know what? Let's try it. If it gets really bad, I'll just stop. Um... I think we want to go on to the left. Yeah, we do indeed. Sort of. Uh, no we don't. Actually, we went the correct way. We need to go over here! I could have sworn there was something on the left, though. Oh well. Oh well. Oh hey, monsters. Vermin. We've seen these before. And hey, you know what? I can talk about 
no, not you, Isaac. I can talk about this! You remember when I said the columns? How they are different and stuff? Well, actually I'm gonna attack Garrett with Jenna! You notice how- this is for targeting, right? You notice I have three columns, so it, that means it hits three people. The reason the one in the middle is bigger, and you'll notice on here as well, there's one that's larger than the other. That is because the closer to the center of the attack, the more damage they'll take. This applies for this one, but it applies to, to it ones that hit more than three enemies as well. So the one in the middle will take more dam damage than the ones on either side of it, and both of them will take more damage than the ones that are further out, and etc. Although you usually won't have more than five people in one battle. Um, anyway, uh, I don't think this really matters, so... Flare. Oh yeah, just Jenna. Oh, and you just saw there, Isaac defended. I s sort of skipped over it, but he did before Garrett went. That's because his uh, vermin got wiped out first. And obviously, as you saw, there isn't really a huge damage difference between them. It's more pronounced later on, but you still take even if it isn't a primary target, it still takes fairly good damage. Like so. Oh. Of course, there's also a random element here. I don't know how Vermin 2 took only 10 damage, that's just strange. Oh well. Oh, it defended. That would do it. That would do it. And it missed. Okay, let's continue forward. Yes, continue forward. Oh wait, is this the one where we want to be on the left? I don't think so. Uh, oh, maybe it is actually. Damn. I don't remember which one of these paths goes where. I'll just have to check all three of them. Pretty much. Yep, this is a dead end. My gut feeling is that we want to go onto the right path. That is the one on the right. But, since the center one is on our way anyway, I may as well check that first. So, let's head over there. Just down here, and up. Up, up, up. And here we are, and... Oh, it's a box! Cool. Is this another elixir? It might be money, actually. No, it's a small jewel! Okay, we probably need that to solve a puzzle later on, because it is not an item that does anything. So actually, no, we definitely need it to solve a puzzle later on. Probably just right up here, actually. Uh, yep. You, if you look closely at this statue, only one of the eyes is sparkling. So hey, that's a, probably a pretty good indication. Well, the red eye is sparkling, but there is a hole where the left eye should be. Gee, I wonder. It is worth reiterating, this is basically the tutorial dungeon, so they make it pretty easy on you. Isaac set the small gem into the empty socket. And the platform we're standing on. I'm guessing? Oh no! I guess now we need to go to the left. Probably. Let's just kill them. Let's just do it. Ah well, close enough. They didn't attack me, so... Oh yeah, something I guess I can mention now. Don't worry about grinding. While we will eventually reach a point where that might become an issue, maybe. I can think of one or two things where it might be. It's not yet. And even then, actually, if you're clever, you don't really need to grind at any point in this game. If you're clever and a little lucky. But it 
Well, anyway. Okay, something that is worth pointing out after he, after the dialogue. You know, I'll come back to it after the dialogue. What's wrong, Kraden? Those two said there was a hidden passage leading deeper into the sanctum. I've come here many times, and I've always thought it looked strange. I had always imagined Soul Sanctum would look different somehow. What do you mean? No, that voice still doesn't work for Jenna. She's way too hot-headed for the soft-spoken thing. Soul Sanctum was built in honor of the sun. There ought to be something here to reflect that. Ah. Sorry. Yeah, that voice is definitely hard on the throat. Sort of in a phlegmy way. Anyway, oh well. I was always puzzled why there wasn't. I'm starting to go into Galoof now because that is actually a little bit easier. Believe it or not. If there is a hidden passage, then maybe it leads to... Well, let's see if we can find it. I think he's serious. Should we help him, Isaac? Mm, yes. But it's too dangerous for us to wait to split up. We should stay together. Wait, for us to wait to split up? Okay, I definitely... What? Did I just... You know, whatever, just go. Just go. No. Just just go. Um, <laughs> anyway. So, this is a good place to illustrate this. You notice how this statue has no li um, dotted line around it, and the other one does? Well, that dotted line indicates that the statue, it's the bounds within which the statue can move. I just cast move on this one, and it didn't work. If I do it on this one, hey, now I grappled it, so let's move it. And it's a hidden passage! Also worth mentioning, I'll just do this again quickly. All of the statues did not go dull colored when I cast move. Is there anything? There is. I don't know which one of these I want to take, so let's just pick one. That goes up. And this one is another statue. And slimes. Why does Garrett have PP drain? Oh, right. I put move on him. <laughs> right, I forgot I had done that. Oh, and it ran away. Son of a bitch. But hey, we leveled up. We're now level 2 Squire, woohoo. And we got Quake, which is basically the Venus or Earth, I'll get into that in a minute, version of the flare that Garrett and Jenna have. Okay, so the Venus thing. You remember when before when I said that he's an Earth Adept and he's a Fire Adept? Well, each element is attached to a corresponding planet? Or Roman God, you know, it, either way. Earth is Venus, Fire is Mars. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, wind is Jupiter. And water is Mercury. So, I'm probably going to use that and the elements pretty interchangeably. But it's something good to know for reference with the game, because I think the game uses mostly the planet terminology. Um, plus, also, strictly speaking, although Earth and Fire are pretty straightforward, hey, I'm going to do an earthquake. Hey, I'm going to do a fire wall. Um, some of the other elements are not. Like wind, or like Jupiter rather, 
also includes, um, it is wind, but it's also stuff like lightning and storm and things like that. And at this, and water is also in the typical water fashion. Temperature control! Because, you know, that's all, that's apparently a water thing. Honestly, that's, I never really got that, but, you know, whatever. Just whatever. I probably shouldn't be using Quake for this, to be honest. It's kind of excessive. I mean, the f flare on Jenna is fine, because it's sort of what she does. She's a caster. But Isaac is more of a paladin or magic knight. Uh, he's not actually a paladin, because that's a class. But that sort of archetype is what I'm getting at. And... wow, let's see. There, I just had a small audio failure. Not the sort of audio you'll hear, I mean like with my headphones. Okay, let's kill this the guy. Anyway... <laughs> Uh, up we go, and it's a maze. Not really a very complicated maze, but a maze it is. Okay, I ha By the way, let me preface this. As, unlike- Well, we'll see how it looks. That cut, because I just did a cut- I just- eh, I cannot speak right now. That'll sound- that'll be really fun to edit. Um, I just cut out a battle. I do that a lot in all sorts in these games, which you probably already know if you've watched any of my other videos. But I mention it now because some of these transition effects, I think this game is fairly tame, but as I start branching out into things that are not 2D Final Fantasy games a bit more, well, that's going to be interesting with the cuts, let's just put it that way. Anyway, we got another eye duel. Because that's what it is, it's a jewel that we, we're going to put in an eye. But first we need to kill these guys. Kill, kill, never stop. You know? Yeah, you know. Wow. Jenna's OP. Um. <laughs> and actually, in hindsight, I should have known this because Jenna is OP and that's just one letter away. Um. Oh well. Or not a well. Why am I saying a well? It's a good thing. At least she is early on. I mean, well, no, she's sort of just always OP. Um, sort of, sort of not. She gets, she's OP in different ways, I guess, as time goes on. And this is good. Okay, this right here is part of the move of the synergy tutorial. The whole point of this is it forces you to use the move synergy. The other ones we could have just pushed, but we the only way to move these is with your synergy. So yeah, tutorials! Actually very cleverly implemented ones, because it doesn't really flat out tell you what to do. It's sort of just figure it out on your own, which is good. Anyway, more statues, hmm. It doesn't look like we can reach them from here. Perhaps synergy is the key. Okay, I guess it does sort of give you a pretty heavy-handed hint. Um, Isaac, try using your synergy. Why, yes, Critten, I will use Garrett's synergy. My synergy is too useful to waste on moving shit. I can heal people. More to the point, I'm the only- oh, hey. More to the point, I'm the only one who can heal people. Plus, I also have Retreat, which is more useful than it sounds, because that's how we're going to be leaving almost every dungeon. Like, seriously. And, wrong button. And it's a door! I think there's two doors in here. I know there's that one. I've, well, we'll see. I know most of these are empty, but... But we'll see. Aha! There were two doors! Okay, I want the other door. Um, I think one of these has an item behind it, is why. 
shit. Uh, a maze? Why, yes, it is a maze. Ho, ho, ho. Anyway, I'm certain there's an item in one of these. Just, no, this is just totally a dead end. Oh, well. Oh, well. What you gonna do? Pretty much. Nothing is wet. Cast Flare, that's what I'm gonna do. Overkill 2013? Yeah, that sounds right. And hey, let's heal Isaac, because that seems like the thing to do. And we're done healing! Oh man, cutting- if I ever have to cut to my menu, that is gonna be just really obvious, because I don't have a menu transition. Oh man. Oh well. Because yeah, I do that a lot, usually right after battles. I'll cut to the menu after the battle, then it's just one cut instead of two. Not gonna happen this time! Oh well. Just oh well. By the way, something to mention about running away, if you do, you don't get any actions in the battle, whether you are successful or not. So, you know, you have been warned. Pretty much. And that'll probably just kill everything. It did! Okay, uh, anything over here? Is it an item? It is! It's a herb. Whoopee! Okay, this is pro probably going to be a long episode as well. I want to say this is going to be the last long episode, because I, I want to wrap up the starting area, mostly at least. So after this, I can just do more bite-side chunks. It's just, you know, want to get through the starting, stop that area in a reasonable time period. Which, you know, I think... Uh, I think already that a week and a half is sort of pushing it. Two weeks would be my limit and, well, I'm pretty close to the end. So, anyway. We found the sun. Clearly, this is the mark of the sun, the heart of Soul Sanctum. It's just as I'd imagined. Which means those two were telling the truth! Wait, so you thought this was here, which means that they were not liars? Um... But if what- but if what they said was true, that means they've been here. And I don't care if that's what Jenna said, it's what she said now. Um, they were thieves! They came to rob the Sanctum! So, they were Tomb Raiders, you're saying? Funny, though. Fu I did not think that Tomb Raiders had red hair. Or were blue. E either way. Um. Let's, hur let's hurry back to the village and tell everyone! Critten, what's the matter? We're so close! Close? Close to what? We've come all the way to the heart of Soul Sanctum! To turn our backs on it and leave! Kraden is kind of obsessed. There's something wrong with that? Oh, silly, silly, foolish, naive fool Garrett. I may be laying it a little bit thick on him. <laughs> Soul Sanctum holds the origins of alchemy! It would be a waste to... What do you think? Yes. Thank you! Thank you. I don't actually even know what happens if you say no there. I'm pretty sure it's a bust thou, but thou must situation. Because let me tell you, if we didn't go further, well, well, you, you'll see. If you put it that way, we don't have much of a choice. I'm with Kraden. I want to look inside. Garrett will probably break something. Really? Well, just go. we'll just go a little bit further. 
Yeah, he's just turned into Galoof. Oh well, it happened. Good, it's decided. Let's move ahead. Okay, uh, it's over here, I think. Yeah, it's over here. What is this room? Well, it's uh, the same thing as on the left, except for the moon. Also, some fancy light effects. There's a moon in the center. A picture of Luna. This must symbolize that- well, it is the moon, so that would, would make sense. These rooms are connected- no. But a room for Luna and one for Soul. It can't be a mere co- well, well, you know, you say that, but we are in the- a temple of the sun. So no, I don't think it's a coincidence that there is a room with the sun in it in the temple of the sun. And you know, the- if you think about it, if you really think about it, there's a whole lot of connections between the sun and the moon. So it kind of makes sense for there to be a room with the moon in it in a temple of the sun. Not a whole lot, but you know, one room? Sure. What does it all mean? Isaac, would you look farther up the passage? I want to say no, but you know I will, because let's save a little time. I believe up here would be- oh hey, um, that's interesting. Uh, what is down here? Oh, we found a synergy stone! We- I should not have picked that up, it was a total waste of the, of the stone, to be honest. But I think if I- nope, it's gone. Okay, that was stupid. But hey, statues, guess what we get to do. Um, and no, I thought there were more statues over here. Well, I guess there was the one, but any, well, there's a few we need to move, but one thing at a time. Behold, we have turned the sun, the moon, or a quarter of the moon into, wait for it. Isaac must have found something. No kidding. Oh wow. <laughs> Isaac, stop! You're about to make a big mistake! Really? I thought that was what we were supposed to do. Wait, Isaac! Okay, I guess we need to do this later. What's wrong, Raiden? This is most a uh, most interesting mechanism you found, Isaac. But this is clearly some kind of trap. This is a trap? Go look in the Luna Room and you'll understand. You know, he says that, but without the statue having moved, I don't think there would be any difference. You've done well! Finding this means you're looking in the right place! You know, he says that, but we literally just climbed up the stairs. But if you move one statue, you'll be caught in the Sanctum's trap. Oh, if you just move one statue. But why would anyone put a trap here anyway? I don't know who did it, but they've hidden something very important. Perhaps they've hidden the key to alchemy itself. Should I tell- no. Hmm. Well, even though I told you now, you probably wouldn't understand. Maybe I should have listened to him. But honestly, honestly, I think he would have just told us stuff I already knew. Maybe stuff you didn't know, though. So, I probably should have actually... Oh, well. Sheesh, another mystery? I'll... I'll keep checking the Luna Room. 
You continue exploring the sanctum! Oh wait, what did he say? Oh well. That light must be the key to the secret! We should test it! Ah! My throat doesn't want to talk like Galu! <laughs> Isaac, let's see if we can't figure this out for ourselves! But first, I actually want to go see if he'll tell me his thing. Then I'll just read it off quick, like, if you will. Because I'm curious. Nope. Well, it was, probably wasn't important. Probably. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, I'm pretty sure what's up is we need to move these first. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this, this seems correct. Then those lights, I don't remember what those lights do, but I know we need to move the statue afterwards. I mean, the one in the middle. Oh, they made a hole. And can I move this into the hole? I can. Ta-da! Something clicked! And now we can move the moon statues, turning this moon into a sun. Which is what it's doing, in case it's not obvious. I feel it is pretty obvious, personally, but... Well, what's happening? I'm not doing the voice anymore. It's too hard on my throat. Sorry. And no more lightning. Isaac must have found- no kidding. You know, I probably could have moved the statue again and he would have given me the alchemy lecture. I mean, before I moved the other statues. Anyway, Kraden! If you look closely, you'll notice that there was a moon on the left now. Or a moon chunk, anyway. Excellent work, Isaac. Yeah, you see right there. Where did that hole come from? Where indeed? When Isaac moved those statues, two beams of light shot from them. And then this hole appeared on the floor. And Isaac dropped the statue into it after that. Hmm, good work everyone. So the statue puzzle was a trap. No kidding. Didn't we just have this conversation? And the other statue was here to disarm the trap? And now we've disarmed it. We should be all right. I'll observe this from the lunar room where it's... <laughs> oh, you bastard. You lovable old bastard. Craven? More like Craven, am I right? Yeah, no. Um. Okay, sun number three. Huzzah! And one to go. And that's all of them. So I think we need to go down and talk to Craven now. Craven. No, he's definitely he's definitely Craven now. And as previously mentioned, Moon. And if you noticed earlier, this room was mirror. Eh. Let's try saying that again. This room was mirroring the room below it, or perhaps the other way around. It therefore stands to reason that the same is true on the left side. Look, Isaac, the picture of Luna has changed to soul. But other than that, nothing looks different. You're an idiot, Creighton. That's strange. They went to the trouble of putting a trap here. And this is all that happens? Somewhere, something else must have changed. We must find it. Herp de derp. I wonder what else could have changed. Oh, wait! 
That looks different. Look, the symbol on the floor! It changed from Soul to Luna! Who'd have thunk, thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? Surely, there must be something in this room. Well, there is that light that is it, either going to the ceiling or going to the wall. It's not really clear. Uh, I'm going with wall. Good call. Aha! This has to be it! Let's go, Isaac. Wait for me, Isaac! I'm on my way! Ah... Uh, the... It, I, don't, I wish I remember what this music was called. Is honestly just the best music ever. Well, maybe not ever. I mean, I did just do the class on Big Bridge, so... Er, music? Okay, anyway. It is some of the best music ever. And it's not in the game very often much. It's really just kept for special occasions. <sighs> just listen to that. It's great. Anyway, before I get too distracted, and this gets even longer, wh where are we? Is that... the ocean? It's not the ocean. We're in a mountain, stupid. No, it couldn't be. The ocean has waves. Also, we're inside of a mountain. The ocean... what's that? The ocean is a thing of endless water at the end of the world. Well, it's not really the end, I mean, the world is round. I, gu I guess from your perspective it would be the end, since it goes- it, it would go on functionally forever. You would not understand. Someday, I'll show it to you myself. The elemental stars. What are those things, Kraden? They really exist! The elemental stars! They exist! You taught us about those. Elements are the foundation of all matter. Stone, wood, even us. All things are made from those four elements. Yeah, they really take the Greek element philosophy and run with it here. Although this is actually what people believed in way olden times, so it just happened to be true here, okay? <laughs> Did I get it right, Isaac? No. No, Isaac, Garrett is- no he isn't. Don't encourage him, Kraden. As I have told you many times, the elements are the source of all matter. Earth, water, fire, and wind. These are the four elements. Legend holds that the four elemental stars contain the purified essence of each element. And now, those legendary stones are before us. The Venus Star, the elemental stone of Earth. The Mercury Star, I cannot pronounce Mercury, sorry. You'll just have to deal. Possessing the power of water's many forms. The there is the Mars star, glowing red with the fire contained within. Mm -hmm. 
And finally, the Jupiter star, bound with the wind's fury. Kraden, why are you getting so excited? What's wrong with you, Kraden? And why are you taking off your pants? <laughs> oh, that's not funny. That's really not funny, but I laughed. Um, how can you be so calm in the face of such wonders? WONDERS, I TELL YOU! WONDERS! YOU'RE LOOKING AT THE VERY SOURCE OF ALL ALCHEMY! Haven't I told you all this? Yes, don't talk about it. What? I must have- Damn it, Garrett! Because I don't have a clue what he's talking about. Damn it, Garrett. I swear, if you make him- Screw you, Garrett! Screw you! The Wisdom Stone. The Stone of Ages. This stone dominates everything. It can transmute crude matter into gold, even thwart death, death itself. So in other words, it's the Philosopher's Stone. Yes, I understood before. The study of alchemy began with the search for this very stone. I don't really get how it works, but they have the have enormous power, right? Beyond enormous, with it in a single gem, one could conquer the world. Now, perhaps you begin to understand. Don't scare us like that, Credin. I totally thought you were serious. Heh, <laughs> conquering the world. Way to not read the move, Garrett. Way to go. Who can say what the truth is? That's why I've been searching for the elemental stars. Where are you going with it, this dude? I seek to learn the truth about the, these stones. By doing what? Now they lie before me. What you doing, dude? Where are you going? Well, you're about to fall, is what you're doing. Silly old man, thinking he can jump. <laughs> and again, that's really not funny, but I laughed! Why do I keep laughing? <laughs> wow, that sounded really bad. I might just... anyway. I, no, I already said it. It's staying. Um... Be careful, Kraden. It looks slippery. But I must examine the elemental stars! Make the boys do it! So, we are stealing for him ancient relics of unparalleled power. Just to keep track of things here. Well, I guess not stealing, we're just bringing them to, to the middle so he can look at them, I guess. Close up. Oh, I couldn't ask. Would you mind? Of course I say that, but... Yes, I would. I would be glad to get them for myself. But... But... You brought those from your cottage, right, Kraden? What are those bags? Now you see why I told you to remember the bags. They're made of woven threads of mithril. I prepared them for just such an occasion. Now, go fetch the Elmo stars and put them in those bags that I prepared for just such the occasion. That's right! That's right! Kraden planned to steal the myth- the ancient mythical gems of unparalleled power from the most sacred place in the whole village, possibly the whole world. And that is down. Uh, I think the Venus one is first. Maybe the Mercury. Not Mercury. Uh... No, not this one. Okay. It's the- no, this is Mercury, isn't it? 
No, it's not. It is indeed Venus. Okay. Hmm, the place is reacting to us removing the stone. That could be a bad sign. Just saying. Maybe not a good sign. Good, good, now go fetch the others. Yes, be complacent in my... Yes, yes, be complacent in my stealing your ancient treasures. And then your journey to the dark side will be complete. Also, you might need to kill me in there somewhere, I don't know. Well, next up is Venus. So, I just want to reiterate here. We are inside of the of Mount Elf, deep inside. The innermost part of Soul Sanctum. The sacred shrine, I guess you could say. More, well, it's a sanctum. The sacred sanctum of the people of the Vale. And we're collecting the elemental stars, the most ancient and powerful of artifacts within the sanctum, and probably the whole world. And we're doing this for a old man who came, who came here to this place that's forbidden for people to come secretly with it in mind that he might have the opportunity to take them. In any other game, he would be the villain. Not this time, though. It looks like they've spotted us. Hmm. I thought we'd be safe until they'd gotten all the elemental stars. You! You made us steal the elemental stars! That was my plan! <laughs> Master Creighton, are, are you calling us thieves? As I recall, aren't you the one who stole our information? What will you do once you've gotten... Once you have got the elemental stars? I'm sure they'll do us in in order to... Why can I not read today? It's because it's 10.30. I shouldn't be recording this late, but I am! I'm sure they'll do us in once they no longer need us. Relax. You will not be hurt. Why... If you say so, strange masked man. That was our agreement, was it not? That all depends on how they will co well they co cooperate. Can't talk either. They'll be safe as long as they hand over the elemental stars. Isn't that enough? You heard us. If you wish to save your friends, then give us the elemental stars! No. Very good, Isaac. You must not give them the stars! Why would you deny us? Don't you want your friends to be safe? What guarantee do we have that once you've we've given you the elemental stars... What guarantee do we have once we've given you the elemental stars? I don't know what I just said, but it wasn't that. Guarantee? Ah, I have one. You will have to remove your mask. Th that means... Ah, of course! A fine idea! He will be our guarantee. 
under the circumstances, we have little choice. Felix, remove your mask! Wait, Felix? What, what did he say, Isaac? He said, Felix, you idiot, keep up. Uh, I'm being really hard on Garrick right this episode, jeez. He called that guy Felix, that's what he said, isn't it? No. But that's what he's, what I heard. Felix? It can't be. That day, the boulder, we saw him die, didn't we? No. We searched for weeks, but we still couldn't find him. What's wrong, Felix? Don't you want them to feel safe? Felix, wasn't that the name of your brother? But that accident, my brother, he... I'll do it. I'll take off my mask. He turns around. And haha, -ha, it's... A sprite. Judging by her reaction though, it's probably Felix. Is he... I know I've caused you much grief, Jenna. It was a miracle I survived that day. We are the ones who saved him. We saw him floating on... That's not Satoros. We saw him floating unconscious in the river as we passed. I've been with them ever since. I've experienced a lot. But why? Every time. Why did you leave me all alone? Jenna. My own brother! I thought you were dead! Okay, wow, this is getting long. I probably should have split this into two, two episodes. Two weeks for introductions, be damned. Oh well. Not stopping now! Save this teary re reunion for later. That's right. The elemental stars come first. Is this acceptable? Felix would never allow us to harm you or his sister. Felix will be our guarantee now. Give us the- I think the other voice is mixed up right now. I, I'm not even sure, but that's just my feeling. I'm definitely not recording another episode after this, that's for sure. I'm going to do the second episode for this week some other time. We don't have any choice. Should we give them the elemental stars? No. If you don't hand them over, they won't let Jenna go! Garrett took the elemental stars. That son of a bitch! There goes our ch chance of ultimate arcane... Wait, let me rephrase that. Of unlimited arcane power. Will you permit me to relieve you of those elemental stars? Oh, Alex! You're late! Alex is another of our companions. Hand the stones to him. Oh, great. After we did all that work. Alex is a very interesting character, actually. He seems minor for now, but he is going to come up again and again later on. Pay attention to him as his um, appearances are fleeting, but Im always important. I'm afraid I must apologize in advance. For you will bring us the remaining elemental star as well. One does wonder why. Also, check it out, he can totally fly. He is the only character in this whole game who can do that. I am so jealous. You want us to... Yes. Uh, I sort of skipped over that by accident. Oh, did you not understand me? You said you'd set Jenna free once we gave you the stars. You promised! No, my friend. We want you to bring us all the stars. 
Stop grumbling and bring us the last star. No. And we did that with Garrett. <laughs> you don't want anything to happen to your friends, do you? No. Think what? I should have said yes. I, I think that was a trap. Like, no matter what, I would have... Uh, anyway. Let's just get the last star. Um, up here. Right? No, not that way. Not this way either. We went the wrong way. Oh well. Oh well. No, I want to talk to Jenna. Screw you, Felix! My brother is alive, but why didn't he tell me sooner? If you want to save them, bring us the elemental star. What? What are you doing? Bring us the final gem! There is only one left. You're almost done. It's sort of understandable Felix doesn't want to talk to us, since he's sort of a be the betrayer of his people. Uh, how the hell did we get to that star? We have to go this way, don't we? Yeah, I think we do. Not that way. Up and around. And here we are, at the final elemental star. What will happen when we take it? The ground has moved every time we've lifted one up. And the... F and and what are their intentions? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that is to tune in next time. HA! Yeah, I'm going there. Cliffhanger! But seriously, this is like an hour long. So, until next time, t when you will have to make sure to tune in to find the, the exciting conclusion to the tutorial and the plot and just, oh my god, so much is happening. Just make sure you show up next time for Golden Sun. Let's playing it with Kiss Blue and do it. And until then, have a nice day.